Hello folks, welcome back. I'm Fred. And I'm Dave. And welcome to another update from Overland Outfitting on Amy's Van Build. Today we want to take a few moments to talk about a window that you can see behind us that we put in. It's a window manufactured by Arctic Turn. That's T-E-R-N. And we acquired it by, uh, from Reparadise in Valley City, Utah. Yes, Valley City, Utah. Yeah. And we're quite happy with the way that the window turned out in the end. However, there were some challenges in uh, installing this window. It wasn't quite as plug and play as one would think um, you might get when you go to order a window for a project like this. Right. It's... Uh... Uh, certainly uh, some things that have to be uh, figured out beforehand and uh, during the uh, build process. Yep, kind of some customization for the Absolutely. specific van here. So without any further ado, we'll take you around to the outside and start there and show you where and how the install looks from the outside. And then we'll come back in and show you what we've done to finish it off on the inside. All right, here we are, the outside of the van. Dave, perhaps you can... Well, one, one of the things we want to start with is the quality of the window itself. These are really top quality. They're thermal pane. Uh, they have uh, two pieces of uh, poly uh, window. It's got uh, about three positions uh, where it'll lock itself in place. And then you can go pretty high up here. It makes a nice awning window. If you have the screen inside, you don't have to worry about any bugs, and this will shed water, and you can just lift it up a little farther and take it down. And that, you can operate this window in a lot of places, even if it's setting at its first notch here. I have to just, just lift it up a little bit, and it'll go back down. And then you can lock it in place. So the window itself is excellent. Um, uh, we really like the finish of it. The quality of it is really good. Um, now, here's something that we tried to do. If you can look at this line here, this line and this line, this is a square corner. Uh, we tried to square the window with those lines. And then this particular one in this transit, it, it gets wider down here and it drops down. This line is not parallel with this. So you have uh, some challenges as far as making the window fit the opening and really look nice inside this panel. What that does is it crowds the beam on the inside, the structural beam. So we had to deal with that a little bit. We wanted to stay far enough away from that so we could get our trim in and everything and then still, and without having to change any of the structure, but still centering it in this panel. Uh, in the field of view there, so it didn't look kind of off kilter in any yeah, particular it's, way. You have so many different lines going different directions here. So we tried to just follow this line on top, keep it nice and square with this, this corner here. Uh, one of the things to keep in mind this is a Ford Transit. Now, if it was a, Do a Dodge Promaster, Dodge Promasters are, have straighter sides. This window is flat. The side of this van is slightly curved. I think uh, Sprinter vans are the same way. Uh, they have a slight curve to them. And it also, from this point on, on the, from here to the front, it tapers in. Uh, so we have a pretty straight panel to here. From here on out, it's tapered to the driver's seat. So you'll see that on the inside. You don't notice it so much on the outside. But uh, that's a consideration there too. So. Okay, so what I'm getting is you really have to take your time and plan out the positioning very carefully before you... Go Before making any make cuts, cuts into yeah. and the, your van. The cut is really close to the edge. It's, it, it doesn't give you a lot of room here for error. And so you want to make sure that you get that as close as possible to the, to the, to the ag exact opening without going beyond. And then you have to uh, make sure that when you're doing your cuts, 
that uh, you don't have a possibility of the blade skipping and damaging the paint or any of that sort of thing on the outside of the van. Right, there's some tricks of the trade that, to know there. Um, okay, so from my point of view, I think it looks great on the outside, from the outside here. Um, yeah, real we... quick, before we go take a look uh, at how f some of the challenges and uh, how things look on the inside, um, what are the, do you remember the di dimensions on this window? I don't, but I have a tape. Okay. So this, uh, they may usually measure from the outside. So if it's from the molding out here, this is 18. That's about 18 by 43. Okay. This window. It fits nicely on this van. It, uh, it goes above our couch that's on the inside, and uh, it just has a nice uh, size uh, for that particular opening. Yes, it looks good proportionally for that panel. I would agree. All right, let's take a look uh, at the inside and see how things um, came about in terms of finishing it off. Oh, Dave, why don't you go ahead and give us a rundown? On well, we this was a little tricky right here because we have a, a wall panel and it's uh, the thickness in here from the outside to the inside uh, is pretty wide. And so even with the widest molding that we could get for the window, we had a little challenge to bring it back out to this level. So the first problem that we encountered was the right size screws. Uh, the screws we had didn't work. Uh, we had to uh, contact um, Repair Dice, find out the exact size of those screws because these windows are all have a, uh, a fastener buried inside the window that's uh, threaded. And so you have to have screws that fit that. And we wanted to bring that up tight. The other problem was that it was just there was nothing to fasten the framework to on the inside. So we took blocks and we went all around the outside of this window and uh, to get the right uh, thickness so that the inside frame had something to squish against to pull the outside in. That to was give a little... you a good seal there? We got a great seal on the outside, but what we also did, once the window was in and we had our inside frame in place we went around the inside with silicone seal around that so it's not on the outside that's also all it has a good seal there but we went on the inside with silicone all the way around then we mounted the frame this frame to the inside of the um, uh, framing now the way it's built we have a round window, round corners here. We have square frame here. So if you pop these things up, we can't do that right now, but if you can, when you pop these up, there's a screw right here, a hole for a screw, one here on each corner. There was nothing to fasten them to. They don't fasten to the window. So you have to have your own framing in there. So what we did on this side, since we were really close to the, uh, uh, post over there we did little metal flanges that followed the shape of the window and that gave us a place to fasten this frame onto. On this side we used wood framing in there. Uh, we uh, urethane glued the framing to the van and then screwed these on to the framing to make a nice solid piece. It all came out really well but it was time consuming. It took an extra day to figure that all out and get that all put together. And then we dropped, <coughs> we dropped in a sill here. Uh, you can see that it's wider in the back to the front because that's outside of the van tapers. The inside of the van also tapers. And so you have to have a, uh, a sill. We wanted a sill that um, would work with the uh, with the contour, the shape of the van here. I see. And then we're using a couch as a bed, so the couch had to be set a certain distance from the wall. 
so we have to have maintain about an inch and a half clearance right here for the for the back of the couch to drop down to make it into a bed there were certain things that we had to just kind of build on the fly here that weren't in the instructions and so th these become quite uh quite the challenge we also use some material on here on both ends and we'll still have to do some filling on some corners but uh and the, eventually we'll get a nice uh, aluminum uh, uh, outside corner angle here and we'll trim that out so that'll be consistent with the rest of our cabinetry the aluminum will the be aluminum. consistent yeah. yeah but these are these are super i mean they are really really nice you have the blinds you have the screens and uh, uh you can stick them together you can bring the blind up here you can still see out it's an excellent window and when they come together they just they lock in place they have a nice button here to release them and so you can you can set that at whatever angle you want on the outside yeah, so we're cool. really happy with the fit and finish of this piece and of the window it just is a challenge to put them in a van so let me ask real quick um, how much room did you have to work with next to the C-pillar over here on the left-hand side? Uh, we had about an inch. And that was very tight with our framing here with the, the screen and the blind. Uh, so it presented itself with certain challenges because we had to build some metal. We used like 14-gauge uh, uh, metal and cut it to the shape of the window and fasten it onto the window frame itself. So we uh, riveted that onto the window frame in order to attach this piece to it. And it was really tight along that uh, framing there. Now we could have moved that down a little bit in the space, but yet we still wanted to maintain a nice balance on the outside also. Right, and I think it's important to mention we also did not want to make any cuts or structural changes to the C pillar itself. Oh, absolutely. That's a really, that, that prevents a, a collapse of this whole space in the event of a rollover or something like that. It's a structural member of the van. Right. So we don't want to get into any of that. We don't want to change anything that uh, Ford did there. Right. And how do you feel about the integrity of the blocking and the framing with the urethane glue up against the uh, the van. Well, I think, yeah, I think that's really a good uh, a way to go because uh, urethane is what all windshields are put in, uh, like the side window in this van. It's installed with urethane glue, and that uh, it it's really easy to work with. It is black. We found out that black gets on everything. Uh, as best we could try, we had black on our fingers, on our clothes. We were, it's just one of those things. If it was probably any other color, it wouldn't show up. But uh, urethane glue, uh, it's a little bit of expensive, about uh, $30 a, a tube uh, for a caulking gun. But it's well worth the money and it glues the blocks in great. And then it gives us a solid place to uh, mount things to. Okay, do you have any uh, real quick pro tips on how you could potentially clean that urethane glue if you oh, well, smear it, it anywhere? Yeah, it'll, it'll clean up easily with uh, lacquer thinner, just a little on a, on a rag. And then, of course, when you do that, you'll always want to take care of your, your uh, solvent. Uh, the rags, they go in a special container, a metal container, so we don't have any problems with a uh, possible fire or anything like that but it'll it'll clean that right off excellent excellent and great to mention because uh i have seen fires um started from combustion from things like that that are kept improperly <laughs> right uh spontaneous combustion that's right uh so and then on this panel we made black marks around here with a marking pen those come off with alcohol. Okay. That's, that's an easy thing. It doesn't change any uh, of the surface here. 
and uh, removes all the black marks. Gotcha. Well, Dave, I think that fairly well sums it up. Um, I really like the way that this window is has come out. Um, we'll get that, like you said, that, that molding around the edge there and the, the final stages of this build. And um, But as far as fit, finish, and um, functionality, this window seems to be a really super quality unit. And uh, I commend you on the uh, fine work that you've done getting well, this in here nicely. It's a really nice, solid, super solid window now. It's, it's part of the van. And uh, we're, uh, it'll be completely waterproof and uh, all of the, the screens and blinds, they work perfect. Yep, I agree. Okay, well with that, Dave, thanks for your time. Um, this has been a great update. Folks, if you've enjoyed this video and got some value out of it, please like, subscribe, hit the bell for future notifications, and we'll be sure to get another update coming out to you here soon. We have lots of work in progress on this build, and I think it's going to be coming together and getting finished up here pretty darn quickly. So stay tuned. See you.